Grandpa Newbie reporting for duty with the OG Rap H LMG. Now, now when I put out a previous OG LMG video, one of you said, well, what do I think about the Rap H? And I thought I'd make a bit video for you to let you know. So I made a video on the route. And the comment I got was, well, it's a nice video, but I wanted the Rap H. So here it is. Let's take a look at the configuration. We're starting out with the Lockman S76 factory stock. And that gives us ADS movement speed of 2.5. Not bad for an LMG, but it's not the fastest you'll ever see in the game. But let's take a look at the damage. 44 for the head, 32 everywhere else. So it's a fairly low damage LMG. The rate of fire is 800 rounds per minute with a bullet velocity of 784.6 meters per second. That's pretty good there. But look at the effective damage range. 32.6 meters and 51.7 meters for the minimum damage range. The recoil Oil, the gun kick is only 16.71 degrees per second. Horizontal recoil is awesome at 9.94 degrees per second. And even vertical recoil is pretty low at 40.94 degrees per second. Not a hip fire machine, but actually not horrible with a hip fire spread of 4.2 degrees per second. The max is kind of out there and the tax stance is 4.4 degrees per second. Movement speed, you're going to be carrying some, some heavy iron so 4.3 meters per second you can look at the sprint speed at 5.2 meters per second tack sprint speed is under six and a half and the ads movement speed we've already mentioned ads speed is a glacial pace 374 milliseconds the reload quickness also fairly graceful you'll be moving like a herd of wild turtles here at 7.4 seconds with empty at 8.1 if you're running it out of fuel there and the sprint to fire speed isn't horrible at 238 milliseconds so there you have it let's go to the next one another lockman the tcg 10 grip and that helps with the composite recoil the sl i bet you think i'm going to say skeletor skeletal vertical grip you can see that that helps with most of the recoil the hip fire is damaged but we got four percent on the ads it's not the biggest christmas gift ever but it's free and the sprint to fire is decreased by five percent the shadow strike suppressor doesn't do anything but suppresses and i had an empty slot so i put it on the 10.6 inch lock strike barrel and that one brings down the range, just that's okay. We've got plenty of range with this, especially on the maps we're going to be playing on. Hurts the hip fire min spread, but the main thing we're going after is that 7% decrease in ADS speed. So that slow 374 milliseconds is actually a composite speed that we've improved with the attachments. So there it is, the Rap H. Let's take this beast onto the field of honor and see how it did for Grandpa. All right, let's see if Grandpa can wrap. Let's take a look at the wrap age compared to the DG58. Fire rate, significantly less, 57 rounds a minute, but both velocity is a lot better. The rest of it, I don't think it really makes that much difference. Red is bad, green is good for the wrap age. Highlighted red is something to take note of when comparing the wrap age with the DG58. Of course, the damage is a little bit less, meaning the damage per second will also be a bit less. Effective damage range, though, that's something to keep in mind. It's significantly better for the wrap age. So depending on the maps you're on, that can make a difference. The kill, time to kill, just about the same. I don't see that much difference between the two. So the range may make the difference in your selection. And now let's look at recoil and performance. I give the recoil definitely to the Rap H with that 8.9 degree per second better gun kick. And the ADS speed, the reload speed, and the sprint to fire speed definitely goes to the DG58. But you got to keep that range in mind and similar times to kill when you're making a selection. You can't just say, oh, this one kills slightly faster and the easier to reload and that sort of thing because that could come back to bite you. 
All right, so we're on Grow House, and there was a triple kill there. A little jumper. I can't believe I could get off the ground with that much steel on my back. And I get gacked. But we have a slight lead here on Grow House, so we're going to see if we can leverage that into a Snickers victory. A lot of people tend to like to hang in the back of this map, so it's always good to look for them. And you can always find them coming up the stairs or hiding in that wooden house. There was a knifer in one match that I played a few weeks ago. That boy, he was always standing up on top of one of those desks, a platform, whatever. Ha! <laughs> Gat Grandpa, you got to be careful not to step on the proximity mine. There's a big, big back of somebody, and Grandpa doesn't hit him. But he pulls out the pistol because he has wounded him a lot and knows that he can gack him with the COR or Renetti. I'm not sure which was my secondary there. Have a look at the COR video. That's a pretty powerful weapon. Makes a case for being one of the most powerful in the game. All right, I'm going to let you see what it takes to reload this beast halfway. I mean, by the time you get reloaded, a young guy could be ready for retirement. I was 21 years old when I first started trying to reload, and look at me now. It's a pretty close game. We'll put out the turret pretty quickly. So hopefully it'll do some work, not really caring where we put it, just somewhere where we can gack somebody, like right there. And all we need is, actually that was a proximity mine, one more kill, and it's a Snickers win for Grandpa. And there it is. So I didn't feel like the rap was particularly heavy. It reminded me a lot of the RAL, the R-A-A-L. There are some people complaining about Grandpa winning there. Either that or saying good game. I don't have on a headset, so I don't know. So it was a pretty hard-fought match. Decided to go for one more. I think I played a total of three or four between free-for-all and just regular multiplayer. These are the fr two free-for-alls. I'm shooting at space there, finally. This was a frustrating game, as I recall, because people were camping a lot. So hard to find when they're camping. Pull out the pistol and eat some bullets. You can see that range come into play there taken out somebody that had pitched a tent and had reserved the slot with KOA campgrounds. The, the ADS movement speed isn't horrible. I mean, it's not up around three. I think it was 2.4. And you can see that the strafing there won the engagement for me. I'm taking, taking fire. And there we go. Once again, the bullet velocity helped there, as did the range. I don't know if that was around 20 meters, maybe. And that one, nothing helped. But it was a beautiful, it was a beautiful shot. You've never seen such a beautiful shot. And there comes somebody with an iron back. I think that, in my opinion, if you're wearing an iron back, it should significantly slow your movement. And before everybody tars and feathers me, there he is again. The reason being is that it's an active weapon when it's on somebody's back because it protects them. If I'm carrying an LMG on my back and a pistol in my hands, I should get the pistol movement speed because the LMG is not an active weapon. But the shield is always an active weapon and it is so powerful that you should probably have a penalty for taking it because when I've worn shields, I've, I've taken probably dozens upon dozens of hits in my back during a game that would have, would have gacked me. 
I would have bought the farm. There you go. There's Nimble Grandpa. Come on. Have the decency to fall over. I'm going to try to put the turret up high. As you know, I usually get gacked. I usually buy the farm putting out my turret. I don't know if that's a good spot. Put it there. And we immediately get a kill and get killed. But look at there. There's a double kill from the turret. Make that a triple kill. In a camping game, a triple kill is GG's. And, whoa. My son-in-law, Pilot Tommy, the Delta Captain, changed to a stem shot. I think I would have rather have had, you know, the guy just absolutely destroyed me. He derezzed me. He sent my pixels to Jupiter. I think I would have rather had a stunner at that point. I still haven't changed it back. He did a good job sniping, though. A little bit of strafe action with iron back. Comment below if you can see the logic behind my shield argument. An active weapon should slow you down. The LMG slows me down when it's active. The pistol, I can run faster. Knife, you can run even faster. But for some reason, when you're not running with the shield, there's no slowdown even though it's active. Whoa, what's going on there? What is happening? So, I think this is worth consideration. It's a good weapon. Please like and subscribe. Cheers and peace. Comment below on the wrap.